Given all of the extra time that we've had lately at home due to COVID, we've been quarantining at home. It's been forcing us to practice at home a little bit more on our time. But don't fret, I have so many at home drills that you can do at home to still stay sharp, to still stay on the top of your game and to get some reps in. Come join my live free class on how to build a game-changing triple threat. I teach this class often, so make sure you go down below in the link so that you can sign up for my next class at gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash live class. I hope to see you there. You won't want to miss it. My favorite slapping drill to do, whether I'm working with a beginner or more advanced, are tennis ball catches. And so these are great to help with your footwork, your timing, your rhythm, just to get into the flow of moving through the box and what your footwork should be. Generally speaking, I like to, if I have someone to work with me, if you have a sibling, if you have a parent that can do this with you, have them just bounce you the tennis ball and all you're doing is on that first bounce, you're taking your first step and you're trying to let the ball travel and you're catching it off of your left hip and you're continuing through the box. But if you don't have someone to toss to you, don't worry. So if you have wall space or if you have a garage or if you have a fence, you want to get maybe five steps, six steps away from the wall. All you're going to do is take your tennis ball. You're going to toss it to a wall. And as the ball returns, you're going to take your first step. And as the ball bounces, you're going to get this ball off of your hip. So this is something that you could do by yourself. You don't need anybody. Always great if you have someone to toss it to you. But again, we're never going to have that be an excuse. We're going to be able to get work done on our own. Another favorite drill is tennis ball throws. Now, this definitely doesn't require anybody but you. What this is going to do, this is going to help you with your hand pass. Again, it will help with your top hand, but we always wanna make sure that our elbow is leading first, our hand, our fingertips are always lagging behind us. This is going to simulate our bat in our hands, that our bat barrel is always lagging behind us on all of our slaps. So that's going to have you feel that sensation. What you can do with this is you can get uh, next to a wall, or if you have open space, go ahead and just get a bucket of balls, uh, tennis balls, and just be able to throw them. First, I suggest that you just start crossed over and you're just working on bouncing the ball. So then you can actually start in your batting stance and actually run through the box and work on tossing the ball. Some things to remember when you're doing the tennis ball throws is to make sure that your four corners, so one, two, three, four, are always facing towards home plate. They're always facing toward third base. What you don't want is you don't want your belly button or your four corners to be facing towards a pitcher. So this is gonna be a great way so that you can just drill in that muscle memory of staying closed towards home. And also, when you actually move through the box, some things to remember too. Same thing, we wanna make sure that we're keeping that elbow up and we're leading with that elbow. Again, we're not throwing with our body, we're throwing with our hands. And my last and final favorite drill are wall swings. This is gonna be great. All you need is yourself and a bat. If you have a good area to move freely, this is gonna be great. All you wanna do is you just wanna measure up to the wall. You wanna put your knob in your belly button and that's gonna give, give you the good space. What this drill is going to do is going to give you instant feedback to see if you are casting out. What we don't wanna do is we don't wanna have long swings. Remember as slappers, we wanna be nice and compact and direct to the ball. As we're moving parallel to the wall, we wanna make sure that we're just staying on that same path towards the pitcher, but we don't wanna cast out. We wanna make sure that we're staying, keeping our hands inside the ball, moving compact, staying compact, not getting too long. So while you are at home during these quarantine times, there are no excuses, okay? So let's recap some drills that are gonna be fun for our slappers to do at home. We have our tennis ball catches. Again, if you have someone to toss you balls, great. If not, find a wall. Make sure that we're throwing this ball against the wall. We're catching off of our left hip. We're making sure that we're having good mechanics with our footwork. We're being mindful of our timing and our rhythm and making sure that we're moving through and exploding through our batter's box. 
Next drill is our tennis ball throws, making sure that we're being mindful of where our hands are, our elbows are. We're making sure that we're not leading with our fingertips, we're leading more with our elbows, making sure that our fingertips are always lagging behind us. This is gonna be great for us to work in our crossover and also working from our batting stance and moving through the box. And last but not least, one of my favorite drills is a wall drill. Super simple, find some wall space, make sure you have room that you're measuring up yourself from the wall and making sure that you're working on your footwork and your swings. You're gonna get that instant feedback if you're casting out or if you're staying inside the ball. I have a three-part mini video series on the slapping basics. Make sure you go down in the description below and get your video today. You guys are gonna be great. Stay strong through this time. I hope that you're staying safe, healthy. I hope to see you next time. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Comment below on videos that you would love to see and make sure you subscribe up above so that you are notified when the next video comes out. I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.